I, I sense there is some frustration here, but not discouragement, which is isn't that where you want to be? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, we, we, we felt like as much as we respect and, and you know, know how good Winnipeg is, we felt we, we let them off the hook, you know. So it was frustrating to have them come into our house and, and walk away with one. So now we know we got um, a big week ahead and a big challenge ahead, right? They're a better team at home. The crowd gets into it. It's a hostile environment. Um, we have to go on silent cadence. We know what Billy can do with that. We know what their offense can do with their vibing off of the crowd. So uh, we know we put ourselves in a tough spot. But at some point in this season, we have to go in and, and beat Winnipeg, right? If it's yeah. now or, or if we're lucky enough to get in playoffs, it's, it'll be later. So why not now? And, and it's a big week, and uh, we're very excited. What do you think about – I know this, you've played them many times. There's a lot of players on this team that have. There's some that haven't. I know Niles was talking about on the defensive side. Now they can see who they are and – when they get into the fourth quarter, they're going to use Oliveira a lot. Um, they like playing, they have no problem playing that low event game, right? And taking the game deep into the fourth quarter that way. Yeah, right. They know how to win, right? They've won a lot in the last four or five years. So they know how to win and they expect to win. So they start leaning on you there in the, in the second half. And uh, we know we have to take it from them. We don't have to go in their house and, and punch them in the mouth and continue to swing throughout the whole game. So uh, we were very excited. We know they're a good team and they're a better team at home. And it's an awesome challenge. What's the key against their defense? They play that heavy zone or match or whatever it is. And well, the key is the key is the, the key is getting is, is efficiency on first down, right? right? We have to be able to run the ball and pass the ball efficiently on first down. Because if you get in second along, they they are DBs. There are a lot of them back there, and they all communicate really well. So um, the key is first down efficiency, right? You can't be in second along, um, and you've proven that over and over and over again. And, and they shut it down a lot of teams when they get in second along. So it's first down efficiency, and then when you do get in second along, finding holes. You know, we have a plan to, to get to some holes and get some people out of their positions, but it's not easy, um, and it starts with first down. Yeah, um, kind of take what they give you, kind of thing. Or? Uh, yeah, and and then you find their holes when they give it right. to you, right? So it's it's a balance of both of those, right? I mean, catch whether it's underneath catch and runs, or uh, find a way to get, to get their eyes in the wrong place down the field. But um, yeah, the key is first down and not put yourself in that tough situation. Yeah. Uh, tough for Trey. He's not the only mobile quarterback that they have made look human <laughs> and, and yeah. keep in the pocket. Um, what was? the message to him uh, from you about, you know, learning from that start and yeah I mean it's just it's just you got to be on your P's and Q's everything every single snap right they, they do a really good job of, of not only dropping a whole bunch but having an effective three-man rush mm -hmm. which you know it starts with Willie and then they, they play off of each other really well but effective three-man rush um, getting our backs in one-on-one -on -one, even when they're only bringing three or four um, is is hard to do and they're really good at it so um, it's about being on time and on schedule when you're pushing the ball down the field or, or take what they give you early so that you can run and catch after the ball. It's just about we had too many turnovers. That's what it comes down yeah. to. Too many turnovers, too many sloppy plays. So you can't win against Winnipeg when you do that. And, and heck, we had four turnovers and it was a 10-10 game in the fourth quarter. So yeah. uh, we're right there and, and we just got to find a, a better way to be efficient early. Four turnovers and 3 nothing at the half. It's almost like it never happened. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, we... we uh, we left, let them off the hook for sure. So uh, we know they're a good team and we give them all credit, but we felt like we left them off, let them off the hook for sure. How, uh, just, just describe what went wrong last week and how do you fix it on a short week? Oh, turnovers. First of all, you can't you can't turn the ball over. So ball security, whether it's coming out of the backfield or where it's not throwing it, to, you know, uh, to the other team, uh, is the first thing. And then it's again it gets first down efficiency, right? So I think we had a, a fumbled exchange. Uh, we had a, a couple losses on first down where it just puts us in second and long. It's a tough situation. Uh, so I think the first thing is not turn the ball over and be efficient on first down. And then the second thing is find a way to attack their, their soft coverage, right? Um, and uh, that's easier said than done, but I think we have a good plan to do that. And, and um, like I said, we played pretty poorly and we we're right there with them in the fourth. So uh, we, we think we can go in there and, and give them a hell of a game. Thank you. Thank you. Yep.